Hi guys, welcome to week 9 of 5 College Kids. It's Monday, October 6, 2008. I'm Ivan Bochkov, and I am back as your Monday host, Adriatic478. So, this week, I am going to examine what I get for getting into Harvard. Now, the first thing I get for getting into Harvard is an understanding of Harvard time. Now, what Harvard time is, basically, is 7 minutes past the hour. That means if a class or an activity starts at 1 o'clock, or is scheduled to start at 1 o'clock, it actually starts at 1.07. And the practical reason behind this is if you have back-to-back -back classes or activities, then you have a 7-minute period to get from one class to the other. This really helps me on Wednesdays because I have math from 1 to 2, then my seminar from 2 to 4, and fencing practice from 4 to 6. So I need all of the 7 minutes. Uh, but what I've also proposed, and my entryweights have agreed with me on this, is an extension to Harvard time. And this is actually a long-standing theory of mine. Basically that the day of the week should change at 3 a.m. rather than at midnight. Now, the reasoning behind this is that most people, at least around here, are still awake at midnight, but most people are already asleep at 3 a.m. So, I would think that it is much more convenient to have the day of the week change while you're actually asleep than while you're still awake. Uh, that said, since it is 1.33 a.m. right now, and technically already Tuesday the 7th, by my theory, it's still Monday the 6th. And that means that I am not late, because it's going to be Monday for another hour and a half. Not late. Now, the second thing you get for getting into Harvard is a ridiculously busy schedule. And this I've come to appreciate in the past two weeks. Basically, my last two weeks have been insane. <laughs> and insanely hectic. Um, and that kind of explains why I didn't post last Monday. Uh, I had a ton of things to do on Monday. And three things about me just kind of compound the pressure. First of all, I have atrocious time management skills. Second, I'm a hopeless procrastinator. Third, I'm a hopeless perfectionist. So you put those together, and it really is not good at all. Also, fourth, I decided not to post after I missed the Monday. I decided not to post last week at all because I read Megan Louis Huntel's challenge to me that she sent by snail mail, and I would like to protest it. So my failure to post last week can be attributed to my protest of her challenge to me. And Megan, because you really know how to push my buttons. It's just... No. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. I will do it eventually. You'll see. But not this week. Not this week. Uh, anyhow, I should get down to the challenges and questions. First of all, from week 7, Tuesday. Kyle asked, how many essays do you write a week? Well, so far, I haven't written any essays. Zero. Um, that has to do with the fact that two of my classes don't assign essays at all. And the other two classes are basically mostly reading classes. Thursday. How much free time do you have? Okay. So getting back to what I get for getting into Harvard. Uh, I would say that... I have a lot of available time, but very little free time. Like, if you look at just the classes that I have, classes meet for three week, for three hours a week, plus like one or two hours for sections each week. Uh, so it's a ridiculously small amount of time that I actually spend in class, which means that I have a lot of available time to do other things. Now the problem is that I'm involved in so many things that all of my available time generally is taken up. Like, I am always doing something, and I don't even have time to be bored or even contemplate how much free time I have. Uh, 
So, yeah, that's what I get for being at Harvard. Is a lot of available time, not much free time. Next Friday, do you have a Mac or a PC? I have a PC. It is a Lenovo T61 ThinkPad, wireless internet, and also a wireless Bluetooth connection to my HP printer, which is terrific. Uh, so that's that. Next week, 8, Tuesday. Kyle asked, what clubs will you join? All right. Okay, again, what do I get for getting into Harvard? Well, first of all, I get blood on my jeans. Right there. So during fencing practice on Friday, we played ultimate ball, which is like ultimate frisbee, only with a volleyball and indoors in the gym. Uh, so I went to dive for the ball and ended up skin, skinning my knees and they were pretty raw and bleeding for a while um, so I unwisely decided to put pants on while there was still some blood there so I got a blood stain on my pants happens um, the positive side of that though is that I feel like I'm in much better shape than I was for the whole summer even after just a few weeks of practice like it's, it's awesome I'm loving it go HFT uh, okay, second club, the Pops, which I've talked about before. This is what I get for being in the Pops. A bruise on my neck where the chin rest of my viola goes, uh, which develops as you practice, because the more you hold your viola up here and play, you're bound to get a bruise eventually. And this just highlights the fact that I've been practicing almost every day and we've been having rehearsals on Mondays uh, from 4 to 6.30, which are pretty intense. Okay, other clubs, born in USSR club, which is the Russian Slava club, uh, Hura, which is the Harvard College Undergraduate Research Association, definitely want to do undergrad research, so I'm definitely joining that club. Um, and I am sports, intramural sports, which are, you know, competitions between the dorms, the freshman dorms next Wednesday. What type of floor do you have? I have a carpet, wall to wall carpet, which is a disgusting mix of green, red, and black particle dots, kind of. Um, which I've discovered is pretty terrible because anything that's white that falls on the floor sticks out immediately. Um, but luckily, I have an awesome vacuum cleaner, which really gets the job done, and I'm really happy about it nice okay Thursday go to the city uh, if you guys go on my Facebook profile and look at my photos then among the first few there should be photos from uh, when we went to Chinatown just a few weeks ago we all went as an entryway like 20 of us uh, and we ate out at a Japanese restaurant which was really cool and we also walked around Chinatown and we got a birthday cake for our proctor John Cage who had his 29th birthday not too long ago. So there should be a photo on Facebook with me holding his cake in the bakery. Uh, and finally, last Friday's question, have you attended any sporting events? Yeah, so far there's been just one home football game, which was the night game against Holy Cross, which Harvard won 25-24, and that was like the greatest night here ever. Um, we all again went as an entryway to the game and had a terrific time. It was a fourth quarter comeback, which was really cool. So, without further ado, I'm going to ask my challenge. Now, my challenge, going along with my protest of Megan's challenge to me, is for you guys all to send Megan postcards with your own challenges person personalized to her. Um, so let her answer the challenges for a change. Anyway, that's the end of my post, so I'm going to go back to doing my Xbox homework, because that's what I get for getting into Harvard.